<laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. What an honor to be able to be associated on the chairlift with Sean and his leader. Hi, Billy Amazing here in the Yosemite to give you an opportunity. You've been watching a special tribute to a man who is known throughout the world. He's touched thousands of lives. Control in any direction, the side slip is the key. It must be mastered by anyone who wants to be a good skier. The uphill ski always leads while body weight remains centered. My first remembrance of Nick Fiore is when Lugi Foger brought three of the best looking guys from Montreal. And uh, Nick, uh, in his later years, that of course that story was in 1948. But in later years, um, Nick, in managing the camps, really got to know. They took classes together under Nick Fiore at the Yosemite Ski School. Susie was about the age of these kids when she started. The staff is especially good in teaching children. They know how to make the lessons understandable, fun, and rewarding. If you just naturally enjoy outdoor sports... Uh, well, in the 1950s and 1960s, we used to ski the Rail Creek Run uh, regularly, and we would we would actually hold races down the Rail Creek Run. I looked up and I only saw cliffs. And I said to Lugi, to the boys, I says, where do the beginners ski around here? And the odyssey began. Nick, in spite of his plans, stayed for the next season and the next, and for all those after. And today, Nick Fiore is as much a part of the Badger Pass legacy as the resort. Hi. <laughs> I just returned from Canada. The Last night, the Laurentian at my, in my home. How was the powder? <laughs> it was concrete, but it was good. And uh, I'm confused now. Why are you confused? Because I spoke my French Canadian all week, then I came back here now to reality. But it was a lot of fun. So all of my friends that I hadn't seen them skied with some old Olympic racers and so on. All your old buddies, huh? All my old buddies. Okay. Come on, I'll make a snowplow turn for you. My name is Calder Grock, and I'm in my third year at the United States Air Force Academy. I followed my late... <laughs> Thank you. I followed my late father, Zen, and my sister, Tanaya, as well as my brother, Nick, into the Air Force. 
Our family military legacy goes much further back, all the way back to Brigadier General Elias Dayton, who was our linear, lineal grandfather. He served in the Revolutionary War, and his son Jonathan Dayton signed the Constitution. My grandmother Midge was Marjorie Dayton. My name's Mark O'Connor. I am. Um, <laughs> I, I still get in a, a little trouble nowadays, but 30 years later and in an environment outside of Yosemite, it's managed a little differently than, than Nick did. <laughs> uh, I came to work for Nick uh, at the suggestion of my brother in uh, late 1978. Hello, my name is Bill Germany, and I started working in, Yos in Yosemite the summer of 1960, and I worked until, until 1997. And my first job was working at New Central Lodge, and I had the evening shift, picking up cigarette butts, cleaning them. Hi, I'm back up here representing Congressman George Adonovich. I'm uh, taller and have a better haircut, and probably more liberal, but I'm here on his behalf. <laughs> I apologize for that, I really do. I can't believe they played that. It caught me in a very weak moment. Wow. Wow. My name is Bruce Brosman. I was privileged to live and work in Yosemite and work with Nick for Nick. Good afternoon. My name is Chuck Carter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the uh, director of the ski and snowboard school at Badger Pass. Nick and I worked together for 35 years. Following him as... I'd like to introduce myself, I'm Jack Peroni. I've been in the ski business since the beginning of time. <laughs> and I was a, uh, advantage to start skiing right after World War II when Badger Pass opened and was a, one of the black dogs from Fresno that used to try and cheat with the tickets and speed too fast every weekend coming up. But I met Nick the first year he was there and we were just high school and college kids